Hey howdy hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a few days since the guys over at Fantastic showcased what many believe is the first actual trailer for the day before. And I did that because I wanted to examine everything I seen with a non-emotional mindset, or try my best to actually do so. Now that we have some context about why this video is being made, let's go ahead and talk about why we all might be wrong about the day before and if we should give Fantastic another chance. So before we get into it, if you like what you've seen today, then like and sub for more content like this. Okay, let's get into it. The past two years have been an emotional roller coaster for zombie survival fans like myself. We went from seeing the global reveal of the day before, which led into years of trouble for the guys over at Fantastic and Mytona. And by that, I mean we seen lawsuits, negativity bombs, empty promises, months of aggressive edging only for the most recent trailer to come out and do what the day before has always done. And that's continued to split the internet almost completely in half and split hairs along the way. The original release release date for this game was actually set for the day I uploaded this video, November 7th. But then it got delayed again to sometime in December when you have Tarkov Arena and possibly the finals coming out. Regardless, the gameplay trailer dropped and it seemed to have done a few things. First things first, it made the people who already wanted to see the day before die chant just a little bit louder for its death, which is weird fucking energy. I don't care who you are. Second, the people who were really mad at Fantastic and Mytona like myself are now in a weird middle ground where we are both excited but not really holding our breath for anything great. And lastly, the group of people who were already excited about the game are cheering a little louder and have some more ammo to add to their defensive push of yeah, the game is real replies. Let's go ahead and start talking about the trailer. One thing I noticed that plenty of creators have called out is that the game looks dramatically different and doesn't look nearly as polished as it did almost two years ago. For example, the clip that's playing right now is from the trailer two years ago. Now let's go back to the trailer we just got and you can see that these look almost dramatically different. And you can see they almost look like two completely different games. One of the things I've been told and I've heard circulate around is that the original build we saw about two years ago was either lost, corrupted, or deleted. No one has a definitive answer. But the common theme is that the original game no longer exists, so to save face or at least make up for how horrible of a job they've done doing the PR side of the house, they pushed out a rushed version of the game for the gameplay reveal, which again, looked like shit when you compare it to the first trailer we seen. I mean, let's be honest here, I can't be the only one who forgot that this game was being made in Unreal Engine 5. Like I just mentioned, when I first saw this gameplay trailer, I was a little bit perplexed as to why everything looks so dull. And throughout the entirety of the trailer, I just kept having that in the back of my head that this looks extremely goddamn dull. And then if you want to talk about the advertised quote-unquote zombie-packed experience, where the fuck are the zombies at? We've seen some zombies whenever the FPS camera was being shown off and the gunplay section. Aside from that, we didn't see really any zombies throughout the rest of the trailer. Regardless, now we know that the game is real. Well, maybe. During this trailer, we also get to see some NPCs, hear some dialogue, and get a look at the character customization. Again, everything just looks really bland, but hey, it's a start. Quite literally a start. Throughout the entirety of the trailer, we keep getting small snippets of gameplay to include a showcase of some zombie killing action. It looks like these guys have completely done away with the third person ADS mechanic that they had about two years ago in lieu of a transitional first person ADS, which I can honestly say I like a lot more. This must have been a most recent change to a first person ADS system because just a few months ago we had actually seen these guys still use the third person ADS, but hate me as much as you want, I actually prefer that they go with this first person camera a lot more. It keeps the third person haters who cry about corner peeking quiet, so fuck it, I want them to keep it in. And at the bare minimum, I just want them to have an option where we can choose whether or not we want third person or first person, but ultimately if they keep first person around, I'm not going to be that upset about it. During most of the cutscenes, we see the heavy emphasis on the central hub these guys have consistently talked about. We see a little bit of driving in some exotic cars, and we see a small snippet of your character building a house. Other than that, the rest of the trailer plays out how you would expect it to. Everything about the trailer seems fine. I mean, it's the most meaningful and substantial gameplay we've seen to date, so yeah, it's fine. But the question is, is, do we give them another chance? That question, I'm afraid, cannot be answered in the entire runtime of this video, but instead gets answered over the weeks and months leading up to and after the release of the day before. If we were to try to answer that question simply based off of the trailer and what we've seen there, you have to decide if what you've seen in the trailer was worth getting attached to as far as anticipation goes.
goes. Honestly, it's nice to see some actual goddamn gameplay of this game, but nothing in this trailer blew me away, so that question is harder to answer. But if we want to talk about the past, we have to mention that Fantastic is taking a stance that I think we should all try to either take for ourselves or at least respect in some way. And that stance is this, move on from the past and focus on what they can deliver in the future. It seems like these guys have already started this by hiding their old uploads of anything related to the day before, except for the old clip from four months ago and the dreaded dev blog from eight months ago. A part of me is all for moving on from their shitty and deceptive past, especially because they haven't really scammed anyone. Immoral and dicey business practices tagged with shitty PR is one thing, but like most of the world, I draw the line on forgiveness when you steal money from innocent people. In their defense, Fantastic and Mytona haven't scammed anyone that we know about. However, many people want to run to the, well, what about the investors question? And let's be fair. If you're an investor and you back the day before financially, then you deserve to have your fucking money stolen. Especially since you signed the contract knowing everything you knew before putting the pen to paper. So boohoo, get bent, kiss my ass, I don't care. But no individual person has ever been asked to front money for this project that we know about. That's some credibility in my book, I'm not even gonna lie to you. As much as I hate to say it because I think it's scummy as hell and essentially just a meme now, these guys have always been open about their position on accepting volunteers both paid and unpaid. These guys currently have more volunteers than paid employees, which honestly surprised me when I figured that out. But the areas I'm playing devil's advocate in are areas where people are faulting them the most. Wishing and hoping that the game dies, which I'll say again, is simple-minded and lame as fuck. Be mad at them all you want. I'm still seething that these guys essentially did nothing less than blatantly lie to us for two years straight. But I want this game to come out and see some level of success, if not for Fantastic and Mytona, then for the devs who have put up with the shit show internally. I want this game to succeed for those guys. I also want it to succeed because the devs have busted their ass jumping through hoop after hoop for these guys. So yeah, look at my other videos and call me a hypocrite if you want. I really don't care. But whenever you start seeing a different perspective of things, that's when you really get to change your mentality. Growing up and becoming an adult also allows you to shift your mentality on certain topics that you once held a position on. And even though at my core, I am still very pissed off at Fantastic and Mytona, now that I've got to see some actual gameplay footage, my position has changed a little bit here. So hopefully these guys are now committed to getting this game out in December, and whether we should believe that or not is going to be a matter of waiting and finding out for ourselves. I wish these guys would have just been honest since the beginning, but worrying about what these guys have done is just going to be a waste of time right now. Forgive them or don't, I don't care. I know I won't be able to forgive these guys unless I know that the game is actually good when it releases, but forgetting will be based on whether or not the game is good as well. If you want my honest opinion on what to expect, prepare for the worst but hope for the best. What do you guys think? Are you excited about the day before or are you never touching this project? Let me know down below. And since you're already in the neighborhood, go ahead and hit that like button, that sub button, and botch release that notification bell for more content like this. And as always, my name is Red Bear Mortis. Speak loud, speak the truth, and I will see you in the next one.